Well, good morning, and Mrs. Bush, we're here today on behalf of the Apia Produce Sales Company, on behalf of the uh, Broccoli Growers of California, the United Fresh Fruit and Vegetable Association, and its Emergency Services Food Bank, to donate to today 10,000 pounds of broccoli to the Capital Area Community Food Bank here in Washington, D.C., which is part of the Second Harvest Network, which you're the National Honorary Chairman. The broccoli that we have here today is 10,000 pounds. That's more than 80,000 servings. 80,000 people are going to enjoy the benefit of this. And we consider it a real honor and a privilege to be able to do this and to make this donation on uh, your behalf, in your honor, and in the President's good name. We uh, <laughs> admire the fact that the, and appreciate the fact that the President himself does not personally like broccoli. But in addition to the 10,000 pounds that's going to be donated to people in need in the Washington area, we're also leaving these several boxes of the product here for your use at the White House. Thank you. Along with some very good new recipes which you might use that you just might intrigue the president to take the plunge into the wonderful world of fresh broccoli. We'll have to see. But we do very much admire the president's leadership, his leadership of our country, the effort that he has made to help us in the fresh produce industry uh, deal with matters of consumer confidence and food safety. And his administration has been very, very helpful to all of us in that regard. And we'd like to think that the effort that's being made here today to to help the needy people will be looked upon perhaps as a green beam of light coming from the thousand points of light across America on behalf of these good people. That's very, very nice. I'm going to overlook the fact you think my cooking is not up to uh, par. And I'm going to tell you the honest truth. The president is never going to eat broccoli. But I'm never going to eat the uh, Pork rind. <laughs> Ever. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, we, we, we have a... We a, a that's why you stayed married 45 years. <laughs> that's right. Well, we're going to donate that sprig of broccoli to you. That Thank you. Stock. I love broccoli. We know you do, and we're grateful for that. And as you indicated, as the president's indicated, that uh, he does uh, very much like fresh fruits and mm -hmm. other vegetables that we're involved in in this that's industry. Right. And uh, You know, I mean, while you're all here, uh, you probably wouldn't we'd come out to talk about the food bank. But this is an enormous gift, and I hope other people will follow suit. I think that you all to be congratulated. And uh, it's a great gift, and we're very grateful to you. Millie and I thank you for the broccoli. We'll eat it. <laughs> Mrs. Bush, what does, kind of message does the president send to all the children out there who won't eat their broccoli? Yeah, when <laughs> Aren't you undermining the parents of America? My own children have checked in with a little bit of food. There we are. Do they eat broccoli? They are forced to eat it until they're 60, as the president is. <laughs> if his own blessed mother can't make him eat broccoli, then uh, I give up. Do you think what he's lost his fear really of his mother, eat? Mrs. Bush? <laughs> he's not eating broccoli anymore. The industry putting a, a good face on the corpse here. Aren't sales going to plummet when they right. see what the no, president has done? No, I think people are going to say, Barbara Bush loves broccoli. <laughs> Look how healthy she is. <laughs> <laughs> Just swam a mile. Mrs. Bush, did you ever think this would, uh, uh, I don't want to say mushroom into something like this. Did yeah. you ever think this would become this big of a deal? No, if I'd known that when he said it the other day, I might have spoken to him first. <laughs> Now, I think it's thrilling if he, if the president stands up and says that and all this food is donated to people who really need food, I think it's wonderful. And I think their response is marvelous. Mr. Bush, now that you've uh, said you're just like, you're going to give me 10 tons of pork rinds coming to the White House? They get it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. He likes it with uh, Worcestershire sauce. No, not with that other thing, Tabasco. Well, thank you very, very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you
What's for lunch? <laughs> he doesn't eat lunch with me. Watching C-SPAN 2. We'd like to take a short break to bring you an update of our program schedule for the next several hours, but first this reminder. On Tuesday morning at 8.45 Eastern Time, 5.45 Pacific, we'll bring you live gavel-to-gavel -gavel coverage of the United States Senate. Now here's a rundown of our next few programs. In just a few moments, we'll air a discussion focusing on issues confronting Arab American families. It's part of the 10th anniversary convention held by the American Arab Anti-Discrimination Committee. Then at 2.20 a.m. Eastern Time, that's 11.20 p.m. Pacific, the topic turns to freedom of the press and fairness in another session of the convention held by the American Arab Anti-Discrimination Committee. Following that, stay with us for a British budget message. Each year at this time, the British government presents its economic plan for the coming year. It's considered an important presentation and is highly covered by the media in the United Kingdom. And at 8 a.m. Eastern Time, that's 5 for our West Coast viewers, will air remarks by Senate Majority Leader George Mitchell and the Chairman of the Democratic National Committee, Ron Brown. They address participants of a conference held by the Communications Workers of America. That's our scheduled update for the next several hours. Thanks for watching C-SPAN 2. C-SPAN 2 and its companion network, C-SPAN, are the cable television industry's channels for public affairs programming. C-SPAN 2 provides its audience coverage of the United States Senate and an inside look at the democratic process. If you have a question or comment about our networks, please write to us at the C-SPAN Networks, 400 North Capitol Street Northwest, Suite 650, Washington, D.C., 20001. Up next, we'll bring you coverage of the 10th anniversary convention held by the American Arab.